right so this is uh, format one let's just first uh, take format ones all right there we go Oof. all right done and then we have uh, this question So we are going to solve this question and uh, this highlighted 1000 cars is telling that this is format 1 question and there we go on the right side with the format 1 itself. Okay. So now let's write uh, the code for this question as per that format and let's learn that how these formats work. Remember these formats acts as stencil it is not at all necessary that you use every line of these formats rather only those lines which are deemed fit will be used and others will be left okay so first thing you need to realize that this 1000 would be the n okay and uh, number two that uh, this average would require you to do a total as i said that we do total for two six sex number one for the sake of total and for the sake of average so that is done and uh, these two things uh, best and worst would basically be your extreme values okay so let's do it one by one let me see the format and then we do it one by one okay all right so first thing is uh, basically uh, initialization okay we don't know what we need to initialize at the moment so we just leave two lines here okay and then we have uh, a number given that is 1000 cards so let's start for count remember to use these variables the way they are count is equal to one to thousand cars so one to one thousand all right so the next line of format says to input what do we need to input what was the formula distance traveled upon fuel used a word about the name of the variables they should be related they should not be a b c d if it is distance traveled let's make it dt okay distance traveled what other thing we need to input is fuel used so let's just call it fuel what is the next step of our uh, uh, format is formula calculation and that formula requires you to find fuel economy so economy is equal to distance travel slash fuel used all right so as soon as you have one formula as you can see here uh, in the question that they also ask you to output the fuel economy of each car here take here fuel economy of each car so in order to do that you would have to output the economy that you have just found for every car remember there are two types of outputs one are generalized those are done when everything is completed all for all 1000 cars okay and one is individualized for example economy of each car you cannot just generalize it because you would have how many cars 1000 cars okay the 1000 cars you would have so you would have to output as soon as you find the economy of each car 
so that's easy the word output we use the same output sorry output economy all right now this part is done what is next line totaling. totaling and we need totaling because they require you to find the average of all card now remember that average is a generalized output and that would only be done when the economy of all 1000 cards is added up all right so total is equal to total plus what equal. yes if there is no formula then we basically uh, add the input to the total otherwise if there's a formula mostly there's a chance that we are going to add the output of the formula now you have total of economy for this car now they require you to find the best and the worst, worst. if you do remember from your previous uh, lectures in uh, um, flowcharts we used to have this if something is let's say if economy is greater than high as of yet then what we do yes then update the highest let's say like this highest is equal to economy and if it is not then you just don't do anything go forward similarly uh, if you are finding the lowest then all you have to do is to if economy is less than lowest then lowest is equal to that's it that is very simple now let's write it in words okay that would be simple if eco is greater than highest let's put it in bracket to just identify it then use the word then this is how we pronounce it. We, we we used to make it, but we used to talk it this way. If echo is greater than high, then high high is equal to echo. Now that diamond box ends where here and if so. If this is true, then high would be echo. Otherwise, it would just skip this line and reaches and if. Okay, if it is true, then this would happen. Otherwise, so this is kind of uh, uh, this is kind of yes thing and this is kind of no thing. All right, so let's just uh, write this up now. All right. Okay. So we are acting on economy. Okay. If economy is greater than high, then high is equal to economy and if if economy is less than low or lowest then lowest is equal to economy and if easy 
all right so extreme values are done what you have to do now is just no next this next basically is the count it would be doing it itself it would be counting itself it would be deciding itself that how many times it has been done so every time next happens count would be increased by one and the control is then sent back to uh, basically four next increases and send backs to four and then four decides whether it is between one and one thousand if it is it goes in if it is not it goes out right after next that is simple it is so it is doing it itself this is counting without decision and that decision to loop through or not is together this is for next so it is doing it itself so you don't have to count is equal to count plus one good thing okay all right now once you are good with it now what you would do you need to find the average okay find the average and that would be average is equal to you already have one total total divided by how many cars were there 1000 and that's it what you need to output now there is no need of percentage so we need to output Uh, order should be as in question and what it's ask you to output the average first it is a good practice highest and uh, 